So hello, welcome to the group that will help people who struggle with zero hunger. Our UN global goal is zero hunger. We chose zero hunger because we believe that those less fortunate aren't eating. And even if they are, they aren't eating right. We want to provide people with nutrition. Before choosing this goal, we had three options, but instead we chose this one. We wonder what we can change in the world and identify the solution to this problem. We considered doing many ways to solve this problem. Our top four ideas included a synthetic burger, volunteer with organizations that help people with no food, fewer food deserts, donate food, give food to the homeless, and many more. But instead, we thought that doing a magical box would be the best solution to this problem because it would not only help those with no food, but also obese people. As we researched the amount of people who suffer from the situation, we wanted to do something big that will help people in many ways. So we came up with a box that includes everything you need to have a healthy garden. Obese people suffer from this situation by having a high pressure, which can lead to heart diseases, which hopefully our healthy box would combat. We will solve this problem by making a waterproof box that will include fruit and vegetable seeds, cans of food, organic soil, garden pressure spray bottles, and a number of gallons depending on the family size. This box will help you make a garden at home and live a healthy life. We will go around the world and give these boxes every month. But first, we will need a form of paper to show how many people are in their family in order just to give them a plentiful amount of food for the whole family. This is a serious problem because many people have died due to the situation and not lived long enough. It is important to do all the things we ab above to solve this problem. If everyone works together, they'll live longer and the amount of people who die from this horrific situation will lower it down. So above this, um, we wrote like ways to help people who suffer from this situation. We decided to make a box that contains everything in order to have a garden and meal on their table. This box will have a right size due to the number of family members and can easily fit in anyone's home. For the ones who live in apartments, we will send a hydroponics box for indoor gardening. How will we create this prototype? Well, the box will contain um, two specific sets. The outdoor garden part would be have fruits and vegetable seeds, cans of food, gallons of water, a spray bottle, and organic soil. The indoor garden would have hydroponic materials, also cans of food, and gallons of water. In order to construct our prototype, we need seeds, cans of food, spray bottles, and a gallon of water for either pack. We assembled our prototype by putting all the materials in a box that is waterproof and can hold heavy materials so that we can ship it out so we can ship it out more easily. We also decided to send the hydroponic materials to ones who live in apartments and small places. We chose to solve this problem with this prototype because we think it will help in many ways. Not only the ones who don't have food, but also the ones who enjoy eating junk food. We identified experts as gardeners and hydroponic um, people who work in the hydroponic field. We were going to interview them to talk about specific instructions and how gardening and hydroponics would work. The people we would interview would be a gardener that has experience and possibly we can interview Mr. Newman who has taught us about hydroponics. We, receive, we would receive materials from Home Depot, Sparklets, and schools. We would receive money from these stores by talking about the importance people are going through and how we can help them. We can get help from school by having us do drives for our cause. If we had more time and resources, we would create our own type of seeds that grow within a few days in a garden that waters itself. As we come to an end, our team thanks you for listening and asks if there are any thoughts, comments, or concerns. That is it. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Good job, guys. Let's see, I'll go ahead and stop the screen share, and then we can take questions. Okay. Question and answer session, guys. Let's go ahead and do the question and answer session.
It's not really a question, but I, I like how you guys considered the uh, uh, the folks that live in apartment complexes that don't have a yard. I really like that. I didn't even think about that. So if I don't have a yard, you guys took care of that issue with the uh, hydroponic uh, setup. Very nice. Thank you. Any questions, guys? Ah, uh, you guys, you guys know that's the last group. So you're you're thinking, I don't want to ask questions because I want to go home, huh? Or actually, you're already home, but I just want to log off. Or don't you? Okay, <laughs> here we go. Here's a question. Uh, do you guys think that after a couple of months of delivering, people will, will run out of space to plant vegetables? Yeah, uh, yeah, we were thinking about that, and our the box itself is designed in sort of uh, you know, sort of those boxes, plant boxes, you know, simple plant boxes that most people own, or they can put in their house. It doesn't take up too much space, so. And if you have the outdoor garden part, you can, uh, you could possibly just order the indoor one and just place it in your house. So if you have no other soil that like you could plant it. Okay. Yeah, like a soil system. Uh, nice. Very good. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and post any more questions, guys. Gone ahead and I posted the uh, the link to the feedback form. If you can take a few moments to provide feedback for our last group, magical box group. Go ahead and take a few moments for that, guys. And then I just have one last thing, and then we can all celebrate for such a great job. Well done. Let's see. Oh, as you're providing feedback, uh, you guys have a question that came up. Uh, would these be free for uh, for those in third world third world countries? Well, another idea that we would have is um, we would have different versions of it. So maybe it would not be totally free, but it would be very low charge and it would have basic basic foods essentials to survive. And there could be different plants, such as, you know, Netflix has like, or some some streaming services, they have different versions of their plan. They have a basic one, they have a premium room and a plus or whatever. It could be the same as this one where it would have, uh, the normal version would be just if you really need the food, essential food. And then another version would be um, you pay more and you get basic food, you know, to have more it would be more product or better product, mm, sort of like a premium versus. So they're nice. Okay, so it'd be like a tier, like a tier system. Yeah. Pricing for okay, very good. 